we are in Hanley right outside St John's Church um, which is now a mosque yes you heard it right mosque now we have covered this building before um, so I'm going to read you some fun facts about this place right now this place is now called the Darul Farah Mosque it is so it's no longer called St John's Church it's called the Darul Farah Mosque This is what they did. Broken headstones, all broken headstones. They weren't removed uh, in a proper way. They were, they were knocked down by a bulldozer. Uh, yeah, a bulldozer, a digger here. Yeah. Um, there is some other goings on with this. Now, they're gonna treat, they're gonna be teaching Islam yet. Now, a lot of people. What they do is they go, well, at least this um, church is going to be used as a house of God. I totally get that. Totally, totally get that. But what I've got a problem with is you are teaching God through Muhammad. Now, we all know about Muhammad. Muhammad was a paedophile. Um, definitely not something you want your kids being taught, really, is it? Um, there's pages of the Quran that are absolutely disgusting um, and they're going to be teaching about the Quran in this building right here um, for me this is not about worshipping God this is about wiping our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ off the map we all know it's about that it even teaches to do that in the Quran their, their lovely book of hatred um, I'm, I'm gonna be so blunt on this guys I really am I'm gonna be so to the point on this because you know Stoke on Trent Live seem to be in the the pocket of these Muslims too there's a body in there um, now what well, just before I go any further into this sort of story um, I want to just tell you that a lot of people say there is no but there was no bodies here there were just gravestones no there is bodies still here now you see all this car park this building here which is the um, shopping center this was part of the graveyard them bodies were exhumed and moved to Hanley cemetery they were moved the ones that remained here are still here now I've looked into this I know 100% that that's true so this here now is is you can see how they've sort of put all this sort of stuff down broken hardcore I would say ready for tarmacking the place um, and they're just gonna they were, what they've done is decimated desecrated the gravestones and now they're just gonna tarmac all over uh, the bodies now some of these bodies were World War One heroes yes you were right World War One heroes um, and they haven't cared about it look smashed up gravestones guys yeah they're all broken they weren't broken before these arrived they weren't broken at all you know they've probably broken a lot of them up and i bet they've used them as hardcore down here do you know what i mean like this this clearly is if i can get it out a bit of a gravestone being used as a hardcore so that they can straight tarmac all over it and you can find bits all over the place of that sort of stuff there's a bit there as well um you know it's absolutely it's it's disgusting now how how do i think they've got around doing this without getting in trouble because i tell you now 100 percent if you wanted to buy this this place and let's say you wanted to turn it into flats or summit and you desecrated this I tell you, you'd you'd have the boot thrown at you. So I'm going to tell you now how I personally think that they've got around this. So I'm going to look towards my phone because I've got some information on my phone. 
that I want to share with you. Just keep that on the the old church while I uh... now the councillor for Hanley, which is where we are. The councillor is none other than Majid Khan, a Muslim. You're telling me. Um, he's labor as well guys he's labor sorry i'm looking at my phone as well to try talking to you and uh, now he's labor um and he's probably likely to get back in too um are you telling me that some form of backhander hasn't been given for them to get away with what they've done and stoke on trent live the local uh, online newspaper article place is saying that they can't find the evidence I've just shown you the evidence. Now, they said there's been no videos in this in this uh, church since last year. And all this happened last year. Now, I'm going to post you on this video, a little short video of me here one month ago videoing in the same spot. But... For this to be turned into a, a place of worship to Muhammad is even more disgusting. The Quran is nothing but evil. It is evil and it wants to wipe out Jesus Christ. It, this is what this is about. Okay, you're going to worship God. You're going to worship him through Muhammad. It's disgusting. Right, I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty of that. I want to mention this to you now guys, so this is a grade 2 listed building. Now we know if there's any works that gets done to a grade 2 listed building, it has to be returned to its former glory, or to its original state shall we say. Now just here, breeze block, there was a door on here, there was the original church door on here, this would have been your entrance to the church where's the original door where's the original feature where's the original feature here do you see what i'm saying how have they got away with it because they are in the pockets of the councillor majid khan hanley councillor i'm telling you now guys i am really really mad at this um and i've got to try and i've got to try and stay level-headed because i've covered this so many times